Today, we need to talk about RM getting attacked and him addressing hate comments. I want to get into RM getting hate after he addressed his feelings towards someone he idolizes dying, and then RM feeling it towards this idol. So, hey, dumb things, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, he's spilling mug merch, and let's go. We need to talk about what happened recently and how this affects RM. As I'm sure you guys know, RM has talked extensively about loving the show Friends. BTS and RM were featured on the reunion and I'm sure they were all honored to be a part of such an iconic part of TV history. BTS and RM loved Friends so much that they were even asked and talked about the show during BTS's appearance on Karaoke Carpool. The show played a very important role in RM's life as the show was how RM had learned English. And for those who think it's not possible to learn English through TV, it is to a certain extent. You can watch the show with the subtitles on while simultaneously learning English through classes and be able to see how what you are learning in class is being used in real life. The hardest part about learning a language is actually not the words. I'm sure if each of you took a language class for a year, you'd be able to at the very least read the language, but very few people would actually be able to understand it as a lot of the times in those language classes, you aren't actually having conversations in that language and how language is used vocally is very very different than on paper and those accents and those things that get in the way. So TV can be used in that way to learn a language. Arm says he learned it with subtitles and then removed the subtitles, which is a similar method to what I just mentioned as well. During an interview, I believe at the Grammys, comedian Trevor Noah was there to interview BTS and asked Arm what his relationship was to the show. Arm talked about the language piece as well as his favorite character being Chandler. Arm also noted that every time he sees Chandler, he feels sad. And this was definitely a a bit misunderstood by some people. What I believe Arm was saying to demonstrate here is that he relates or feels sad for the character because he feels he can relate to Chandler the most and relate to Chandler's struggles in the show. And I think to some degree we all can, which is exactly why the character and the show was so popular. Arm continued to talk about how much he loves Chandler and I think this is such a beautiful thing. I think it shows how art and shows can connect to human beings in such a beautiful way. How even someone who was a magic was able to relate to many people. And many can say it was the writing of the show, but each actor brings a lot of different things to the character and without Matthew Perry, the character Chandler would most definitely not be the same. So it was absolutely devastating recently on October 28th to hear about the passing of the star and Arm was absolutely devastated. So what happened to Matthew and what was Arm's reaction? Basically, since his death is so new, we actually don't have all the information as of yet. But what is known that he apparently drowned in his home in LA in the hot tub. He was all alone at his home and when his assistant got back from doing errands, noticed that Matthew had drowned in his hot tub. This was quite shocking and a bit jarring, which is another reason why I think the story got even bigger. I mean, the story would have gotten big regardless, but I think it hits a different place when it's a death that seems like it could have been avoided or didn't need to happen. While you might think most deaths don't need to happen, if it was one of old age, then it can be seen as even a positive thing and everyone can celebrate celebrate his long and successful life. However, it's quite hard to say this was an old age situation when he was only 54. Arm actually posted Matthew Perry's photo on Instagram. He posted this on his story and Arm did not add any words to this post. It was just a photo and funny enough, this got Arm a lot of hate online. Now before I get into the story, I have to give a bit more of a backstory on some of the things that happened with Arm recently and what that drama was about. If you're unaware, Arm got a lot of hate for his recent scandal on Muslims. I don't want to give any of my opinion as to whether or not this action he did was offensive or not because I am not of that religion or culture. I know that Arm himself has said he has no hate in his heart and he does not hate any religion or culture. This was after he posted a song on his Instagram story where a lot of people interpreted the lyrics as Islamophobic or an attack on the culture. A lot of people in K-pop, in my opinion, do not actually know what they're angry about or what they're outraged about. I saw a video where someone was talking about the very meaningful quotes BTS members have said and their commentary on work culture around the world lately, but every single comment, all 30 of them, were comments about something else unrelated to that message. And I thought that was extremely strange. And I think a lot of K-pop fans see one thing that they don't like or see one person's comment and then they jump in the comments to say the exact same thing while not actually listening or understanding the message of that video. And I think in recent cases, ARM is getting the brunt of that, where people are 
just hearing other people saying it's Islamophobic without actually listening to the song, understanding the context, and then making the full decision. Because a lot of the comments are saying it's Islamophobic based on what others have said rather than their own opinion they could make if they simply did their research or took two minutes to look up the context of the artist who sang it. Because of these accusations towards RM, he recently got a lot of hate for posting Matthew Perry as there are some issues in Israel with a huge Muslim population. And RM has apparently yet to speak on those issues. This is a lose-lose situation. Why on earth would he post about that issue overseas? Explain that to me. Like why would he post about a war? A war is extremely political and when talking about it there's obviously people who stand on this side versus the other and you'll lose a huge amount of supporters for picking a side. RM or any K-pop idol is naturally going to be advised to not pick a side and of course only post things related to entertainment or non-controversial things. However, a lot of people are saying since there is an ongoing Muslim issue with the Israeli war and RM is not speaking out, this is him now also posting something that is against Muslims and that he is being Islamophobic again. And to this I really don't know what to say. It's a lose-lose. If he posts anything he is picking a side and isolating the other half of his audience or he is reminding people of the bad things happening around the world. Singers and entertainers don't all want to be involved in politics, nor was it ever his goal to be involved. He was kind of involved in Korean politics by proxy because he is Korean and the music got so big he represented the country. However, this is not his initial goal, and so he doesn't want to be a spokesperson for the war or pick a side. There's really nothing wrong with this, and what's funny is that it's never someone who doesn't have an ulterior motive posting these types of things against against RM. It's always someone from an opposing fandom that wants to see RM be permanently cancelled and a lot of those people are likely not even Muslim or have anything to do with the culture. Because aside from the war, there's other things that are happening too that are important. Someone who is very important to RM dying and passing is of course someone RM is allowed to post about and he shouldn't get hate for showing love. You can be upset that he's not posting about Muslims but to be upset that he is posting something that is also important, I just don't understand. And, and he would also get backlash too if he didn't post about Matthew, given how many times Arm has mentioned the show Friends. Arm has talked about and mentioned hate comments a lot, and I think he seemingly gets a lot more of them more recently. I think Arm and BTS members never really responded to the hate in the past because it just really didn't come to surface. I think most people had tried really hard to defend BTS, and I think there was a, just a lot of love for BTS as a whole. As I am sure there's definitely people who like BTS, but maybe not the members individually. I don't know. But BTS members have also gotten a lot more hate lately due to them being human beings, being more sexual, cursing, drinking, talking about their true feelings, addressing controversies, overall not seen as a literal doll that does nothing. And I think this shattered a lot of people's fantasies. And I think a lot of people were sitting on the back burner waiting for the members to do something so they could try to cancel them. So they hold on to this hate and resentment that arm destroyed my fantasy and then actively every day look for a reason to cancel him. Because why not? It's not like they have jobs or contribute to their family or society in any way. RM has talked about hate comments in his music numerous times, with one time saying, don't listen to the haters, it will hurt your ears. It's always the fools putting their lives on the line for the online. This line implies that those who engage in online battles with trolls and haters are often doing so in a very foolish way. They are risking their well-being and mental health by getting too involved in online arguments or trying to seek validation from the internet. This is RM's way of saying to be cautious against getting caught up in online drama and instead to focus on more meaningful aspects of life, which can be directly used against this drama that Arm is finding himself in after posting a memoriam of someone he idolizes. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for still the comments right here. Love you. Bye.